What's up guys, it's Josh from WA Production and today I wanted to put together a really quick video about the Beta 2 release of the upcoming FL Studio 21.2 update. Beta 2 has some brand new features as well as upgrades to the previous ones that were released in Beta 1 and I just wanted to run through those with you. There's some really exciting stuff here. So in Beta 1, ImageLine introduced FL Cloud and you can see the sounds portion over here. Not much has changed, they've made some improvements, but uh, things are generally the same. One thing that ImageLine did make clear in the forum post about the beta is that there will be multiple tier options, uh, there will be a free version, there will be a version that has uh, an option to make one-off purchases of credits essentially, um, but then there will be a subscription as well, which actually will have unlimited downloads, so that's pretty exciting and pretty game-changing, I think. More information will be coming uh, once FL Cloud or the new version of FL Studio 21.2 is officially released, so keep an eye out for that. On top of the sounds segment of FL Cloud, ImageLine is also including mastering. So uh, this is a pretty incredible new feature. You just go to export and master. You can see that there now. And uh, we've got my project here. You can select the type of project, the options here, quality settings, all that, any extra metadata, things like that. But down here, uh, you can actually select a different reference, so a different genre. Uh, we've got a kind of future garage track here. Let me go back. All right, you get the idea. So uh, coming back over here to export. Um, so let's choose, I mean, I guess for these purposes, let's do EDM. We could do a second one. Um, I don't know, ambient, whatever. Um, we want to release this on Spotify. You can also do custom. Uh, so I think that'll adjust. Yeah, see so it adjust the loudness target for it based on that platform's uh, recommended settings. And so we can go ahead and start. And so now we've started, it's rendering the audio to a file and it's gonna start the mastering and then master and output to reference A and reference B. Pretty amazing. So the mastering is AI powered. Um, and so it will use, you know, its detection to kind of determine how to uh, master your track. So it's a pretty amazing included feature in FL Cloud. Um, exactly how that's gonna be set up and what the options will be will be announced when they officially launch uh, FL Studio 21.2 with the new FL Cloud service. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go back to uh, my last video about FL Cloud and uh, the beta, uh, which I made during beta one, um, which will discuss exactly what uh, FL Cloud is um, and go more into detail with that. So, all right, so we've got our three tracks. So here's the original. jump between them here, you can hear the EDM version. You can hear the ambient one, sounds a little darker, a little bit more dull. can uh, select which one you like and it'll take you to the file once you've downloaded it. So 
uh, that's pretty amazing. Um, pretty crazy that that's built right into the DAW. So ups to uh, the team for making that one. Aside from that, they've made a couple improvements to FL Cloud. Um, I'm not going to go over that right now. Nothing too major. The next big one, though, is stem separation. And I think people will be stoked about that one. So let me drag in something here. Just going to change the tempo. So now I've got this. You make it easy to love you. All right, dope. So now we've got in this menu, extract stems from sample. This is crazy. Watch this. Yeah, so we want drums, instruments, bass, and vocals separated. All right, estimates two minutes. All right, so it estimated two minutes. That took about 30 seconds. It's crazy. Um, so let's have a listen. So here we've got the drums. Now the bass. Crazy. How about the instruments? That is insane. You know what I would have given to have a tool like this back when, I don't know, when I was starting out making terrible bootleg remixes and mashups back in the day? I mean, holy whatever you want to say. This is nuts. And so you guys, you youngins don't know how lucky you are with all this stuff. It's crazy. So that is freaking awesome. Um, let's hear all the stems together. Sounds like the original. I'm who to love you. Higher, higher. That is nuts. I have nothing else to say about that. It's crazy. So that's just like a feature in FL Studio now. That's, <laughs> I mean, you don't even need to go anywhere for it. That's crazy. So awesome. Next, a couple other things. Uh, now in themes, you can uh, customize the audio frequency to color. So if you want to dive in, that's even another layer to the recently added FL Studio theme settings. Uh, so you can really do some crazy stuff, make your uh, waveforms and stuff look uh, pretty fancy. They also added Kepler, which is an authentic Juno 6 emulation, a uh, new plugin included for everybody with FL Studio Producer Edition and up, um, except in the beta, uh, it doesn't seem to be added yet in the Mac version, so I can't show it to you. but. Uh, it will be included and is very cool. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, FL Studio 21.2 is slated to be one of the biggest launches they've ever done. It's gonna be crazy. FL Cloud on its own is wild, uh, but all these additional features uh, they've added in the latest beta, um, plus what they already added in the first beta is just game changing, especially with that stem separation. That is just crazy. So. Have fun with it. Uh, if you want to download the beta, you can do that via the FL Studio forum. Uh, if you're not sure how to do that, uh, check my previous video on the first beta, which shows you how. Uh, but keep in mind that you do have to have an FL Studio license to access the beta. Uh, otherwise, you're out of luck. So go buy a license if you don't have one already. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. Have fun.